That box is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Greetings, comrades. This is Sonic Kill Em Off, and welcome to part two of the Update 99 special in HDVR. Now, the previous video, we showed off the new guns. Now, we're going to show off some of the new toys, including, a, I guess, a gun that uh, I forgot to show off. But uh, I guess I'm, good, I'm showing it off here because, well, indoor range, probably not ideal for that. But uh, let's go and get the guns out of the way, shall we? So, first off, we have the Plunger Launcher. Looks like something out of Team Fortress 2, but no, 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 no. This one of the new climbing tools. We to play around Actually, before I show this off, let me show you something a little different about the Arizona range. About the same, you know. And then, then you look over here and like, ooh, look at that. We got ourselves a climbing stadium of sorts. So we can try out some of these new toys. So actually, I'm going to stop this out. And before I get to you, I have to show you a few things that I to show off in the uh, previous video. We got a new uh, sight, the telescope scope, which as you can tell is a scope that looks like a telescope. So I guess to test this out, I got this little AK-74N here, but uh, we're going to need a uh, rail adapter for it because this doesn't come with one right from the get-go. And we'll set the scope on there. So completely gone, but whatever. But what's cool about this? <laughs> Yeah, you got your standard uh, magnification, but watch this. I can't even hold it right. <laughs> I guess it's more ideal for like sniper rifles. Not this, but uh, you can adjust it so it's a little more reasonable. My hands are a little shaky, but no. Very, very interesting. You can only retract it and extend it when it's attached to a gun. So keep that in mind. Though you can take it off, it'll be uh, it'll still be retracted stuff. Can you? Oh, you can. Okay, okay. Well, that's what I know. And yeah, you can use it as a regular telescope if you want. But that's not the only cool thing. We got a range finder. It's basically a basically a handheld scope. And uh, you notice the rail on it, so if you want to put a fork up on there, you can. Or better yet, a rangefinder with a grenade launcher. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is cool. But anyway, the rangefinder is pretty much what you expect. It takes the range between you and the uh, thing that's on the reticle. Very interesting. I think you can adjust the uh, magnification on it. I'm not sure. I just, I just got this, so I'm trying to figure out how to... Yeah, it's about what you expect. Nice little range finder. And, uh, you know. There you go. Anyway, let's go and show off these new grappling tools. So, and, uh, might as well grab that as well, so be right back. Alright, and here we are. And turns out I didn't need to carry this stuff with me because it's already over here. But, oh well. Here we are. But anyway, time to show off the plunger launcher. Now, basically... It looks like a grenade launcher, but it shoots plungers. And before you ask, no, you cannot pull enemies towards you with this. That's another toy that's coming later. But this basically spawns... ...little climbing spots for you. And, uh, might as well... ...a few more. Now, uh, according to Anton in the devlog... ...these are permanently fixed and you cannot remove them. Though I believe they can be destroyed. So I'm curious uh, if he's managed to integrate that. But basically, these plungers act as climbing spots. So now... I can climb up like this. But maybe you're feeling a little more adventurous. Well, that's where these come in. We got climbing axes as well as little ice axes that pretty much do the same thing. But uh, these are cooler. So basically use these... 
climb. Now, gonna take some getting used to. There we go. Now, as soon as you uh, hit the wall, you have to press the trigger, then it'll uh, fix it in place. You let go of the trigger, then you do it again. You gotta make sure it's hitting the wall. Ah! Well, you get the idea. You gotta take some time to play around with these. But it's nice to be able to climb stuff now. And, uh, so you wanna bring out your inner Batman? Well, that's where the grappling hook comes into play. Now, uh, you have to undo it first, I believe. Ah, oh, there you go. So basically, you just throw this. And when it hits something, it will attach. Now, naturally, you want to throw it against, like, a ceiling or something. So, thankfully, there's another one. So, uh, well, you can spawn as many as you want. So, you know, so unravel it. Okay, let's move over here. So it's a little... Okay, ready? As soon as it hits something, the rope will stay in place and you can climb. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I never imagined being excited about climbing on stuff, but uh, here I am. Good time. Okay. Now, let's get to the real beaten and potatoes. So, we'll show that off later, don't worry. For now, we're going to show this off. A grapple gun. Now, these are specialized magazines. Now, this is going to take some getting used to, so... Basically how this works, you fire one shot, that'll be the anchor point. Then, you point anywhere else... Hear yourself a little climbing point. But you might as well show that off real quick. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what was that? Okay. Let's go and climb back up the fun way. Ah. Man, this is so much fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, let's crouch down actually. Grab the rope. Ah! Come on, this is easy! This is gonna take some getting used to. I don't normally like, climb stuff <laughs> in HCVR, because, well, this is kind of a new thing. There are still ladders and stuff, like, taking hold. But, like, these, like, grappling hooks and ropes and stuff. This is kind of new. Okay. Try again. No. What's the problem? I can do it! Kind of slid down. Anyway, let's do something really cool. So, if you fire at one spot, then you press up on the thumbstick on the Oculus Rift, it'll retract it. But if you fire again, then press down, you can propel yourself. Now it helps if you're jumping. Well actually no, you just boot both controls up at the same time, which is not that easy, trust me. There we go. <laughs> Takes a little getting used to. But it's so much fun once you get the hang of it. Now, naturally, you can only, uh... Now, the first shot, I forgot to mention, it has a limited range. So you'll see the light on there. If it's green, I can shoot and it'll stick. If it's red, it won't stick. But the second shot, you can point it anywhere. It travels at a bit of an arc when I've seen, so you want to aim high. Try to, like, maybe go up there. But, uh, here. Let's do the swing again. Wait, no. It takes some getting used to, but it's fun once you get the hang of it. I saw Anton, he had a good time swinging around like Batman. It'll be even better if you have one of those climbing axes, which we'll get one of those real quick. This is so fun to play with. <laughs> Not even more ways to goof around in this game. Okay. Ready? Wait. Come on. 
Well, that could have gone better. Here, try again. There we go. <laughs> My axe! Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. But yeah, there's that. And, uh... So those are all the new climbing tools, but let's show off the real fun toy. A remote rocket launcher. That's right. We got a remote rocket launcher. How do you turn this on? Oh, like that. So basically, as the name suggests, it's a rocket launcher, but you can control the rocket with this little joystick here. And you got a little screen. You can see where the rocket's going. So, ready? I believe you can... Yeah, you press the trigger while holding this joystick, it'll accelerate the missile. Okay, put another one in. down. So you can see why this is more appropriate to do it outdoors than in an indoor range. Oh, you can airburst the rocket too. Just gotta... Yeah. Let's try this again. I believe you click the left thumbstick and it'll uh, detonate the rocket. Yep. So yeah. Those are some more of the new toys, but I forgot to show off the uh, other explosives. We'll do that here in a minute, so give me one second. All right, here we are, proving ground. And you'll notice it's a lot different. We don't have those weird shapes blocking the way anymore, which uh, I guess was there for like testing ballistics and stuff, but uh, we'll do that now. Yeah, there are a few items I forgot to show off. First off, the tactical cardboard box. That's right. Relive your Metal Gear Solid fantasies with this. Kind of tricky to put on. I believe you're supposed to put it in your, one of your back slots. Hold on. But I think you got a good idea of how that works. But uh, let's show you the real fun stuff. We got C4. Kind of. <laughs> And uh, claymores, just like in Call of Duties. And yeah, might as well just go over here real quick. Okay, so support grenade. I, I guess it's not very C4 laser claymore. Let's go ahead and spawn some sosigs to test these out. Might as well spawn lock these. And I guess we'll show up to C4 first. Pretty self-explanatory. Play Call of Duty. You know what these do? Though, as they showed in the uh, devlog, you have to place it in the wall and it'll stick. If you just throw it, it's not really going to stick. Oh, like bounce and stuff. You have to set it yourself. Oh. Well, we you put a switch. And they are live. Which means, when I press this detonator, Sosa goes bye bye. <laughs> now let's show off the claymores. I think you just set it down, I believe. Here. Yep. That's what you expect. And you notice it didn't get hurt because, well, you know the thing about claymores, front towards enemy, and it's the back. <laughs> so obviously, the explosive is going forward. Which is why these are really popular during Vietnam. And of course, you see this laser one, which is what you see in like Call of Duty and stuff. And you have to, uh, yeah, you have to set it. You drop it, it's not going to do anything. Set it. The lasers come out. Have any Sosex stupid enough to make it in front of it? I don't know how he pulled there, but yeah. Here, come with me. You're my volunteer for this experiment. As soon as Soka goes near it, he goes boom. I still get hit because it's kind of a directed explosion. So if it goes out in front of you and it's facing that way, you'll be good. So those are the explosives. Now I believe 
The real fun should come from here. I'm not sure if I can spawn from here. So it's like items. I don't think it's here. I think it's here. Hmm. So supposedly there's destructible furniture, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I can spawn them here. I'll have to. Uh... Yeah, we might have to check the uh... change log again. So uh, <laughs> give me a second. Okay, so we have to use the Sosa Spawner device, which I'm not sure if they mean this or that. Let me double check here. Player. Spawn. Here we go. Furniture. Okay. I don't know how I missed that. So. I'm not sure. We got crates. Yeah, little crates. No. We got couches. We got lamps. Other doors. But one thing that's been toted on a lot are destructible doors. And what's cool about them, they're fully functional. You can turn the knobs and they'll open. You have keys, you actually have to physically turn them over to unlock them. And of course, you can destroy them. Now, they don't seem to be on here just yet. Yeah, I don't see any, uh... Yeah, there's no, uh spawnable doors I I believe those are gonna be in like a the breach prototype which I think that would make more sense but he did show them off in a devlog quite a while back where you can like uh, destroy doors like for breaching and stuff you can use a crowbar and like smash it open but we got spawnable destructible furniture at least only in the proving ground not really gonna spawn these in the firing range or anything Basically, simple but effective. I imagine it'd be fun to use and take and hold. All these boxes, you want to destroy them, and you never know what they're gonna spawn. Okay. And how about these chairs? There that goes. Okay, let's get some melee action going. I think the real fun of this one for is not shooting it, but smashing it. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Get a gold sledgehammer. And hmm. There we go. You gotta hit enough times. They blow up. I was hoping to use the debris as impromptu shields. So yeah. Maybe I'll show off the doors at some point, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know why I want to make a entire video talking about doors. So we got new guns, of course. We got new toys to play with. And now we have destructible furniture, at least in the proving ground. Now it's going to be integrated in other modes because you need the Sosic spawner here to spawn them. Which, uh, this isn't available in any other, uh, mode. Oh, they can destroy each other too. I would love to spawn a door though, so just so I can show it off. So, that is update 99, and, uh, it's added quite a bit of content, not going to lie. And you know what? I'm really curious and excited to see what update 100 is going to bring us. Can you believe it? One update 100? Man, and it's been five years since this game came out. 
and it has had a ton of content, and Anton is such a passionate developer, you know, putting a lot of time and dedication to adding stuff to this game, like, that is dedication. <laughs> if only I had his passion, maybe when I make, maybe if I make games one day, I hope to do something as amazing, if not more so, than he is. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you look forward to the next one. Till then, that's my